My name is. My name. <laughs> like I wanted to sound epic. My. My name. <laughs> all right, just freaking start it, and I'll do one. My name is Ryan Law, and my entire life, all I've ever wanted was to be a reality TV star. Reality. But after being rejected from every single show on the air, I created my own reality show Television. to be judged by a panel of really qualified experts. Is this guy for real? Shut up. So will I complete the challenge and win the prize, or will I fail and face the punishment? Your challenge is to create a successful fashion trend. <laughs> This week's panel. The world is full of sick fashion, like tearaways, Panya glasses, Speedos, gloves, skis. But I noticed with women's fashions, they were almost exclusively designed to trick potential mates into marrying them. And I wanted some answers. Like if you're looking at a girl, how do you tell if she's like a 10 or a two? That's the point. My ex-girlfriend, yeah. uh, Latoya, she left like a big, huge like piece of uh, pink hair at my house. You're joking. And now I'm thinking that like maybe that hair uh, was probably dyed. Probably. Dyed, or maybe yeah. Some extension. Yeah, that's and probably she, so, which means it fell out yeah, because she dyed she it. Yeah, pull off her hair. Because it was dyed. On. So my plan was to create a trend that would enhance a part of a man's body. What part of their body are men most insecure about? Their package for sure. Their package for sure. Package for sure. Package for sure. Who's insecure about that? So I, I guess you the. On that. Some women say it doesn't matter, even though it does. A lot of women. So you're saying it's matter. really very important to have a huge one. Well. <laughs> so you would never date a guy unless it's like big. Never kiss and tell. It's not just the pound. pound How pound. big does it have to be for you? I'm not telling. If it's small, can it still make babies? Sure it can. So what happens? They're just like midgets and stuff. So I took Rebecca's advice on big dongs and found a fashion designer on Craigslist to help me make a pair of pants that would enhance the male dong. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever made. This is uh, what I made for it. Yeah, this is good. It's good texture, it's believable. I like the size, it's not too hard. I would put that in my mouth if I was a woman. Okay, Glad yeah, that's, like that's the one. And now that I had the pants, it was time to get them on men's dicks. So I set up a pitch meeting with fashion guru, Adrian Wu. How many times have you gotten emails asking you to buy like penis enlargement pills? Uh, a dear amount. Oh. And how many have you responded to? Zero. A few. Definitely haven't seen anything like this before. Would you wear them yourself? Well, uh, me, myself, you know, I think, I think, I'm, I think I'm good. Well, but, we recommend uh, them for anyone but, with a penis but, uh, less than 10 inches. But, uh, Are you bigger than 10 inches? You know, well, uh, I don't know. But despite Adrian's minimum 10 inch penis, he was a huge perv. Like this could have been in the back and it could have been a real dildo and it, you could be having sex with yourself while you're walking, you know? Okay, well, there's a couple of different ways you could do it, I guess, yeah. Oh, totally. You could call them orgasm pants. Once you invest in the product, maybe we have the Ryan line that's like this, then we have your line that's, you know, you know, you know actual you know, dildo in it'd the be, pants. It'd be interesting to, uh, to actually, uh, you know, think about a sex market. Well, the adult industry, you know? And, uh, well, that's what we wanted to have. Yeah, the adult industry. Every adult. How much should I put you down for? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna talk, let's get my people to talk to your people and we'll get back to you. I wasn't surprised that a man with such a gargantuan penis didn't want to invest in the pythons. Just take it with that. I'd approach Gap, Randy River, Point Zero, Mecca Jeans. Actually, I've got a better idea. Why don't we just sell them everywhere? But the guys were right, so I brought the pants directly to the CEO of a huge fashion company. You have no contact name, you have no appointment, you have no... He said, I'm the CEO of, of Pop by okay, anytime we'll name? close the deal. Give me the name, what's his name? Well, he told me not to tell anyone any of the information. Okay, you know what? So it's sort of I top secret. I'm sorry, no appointment, no Jim. meetings, guys. I would appreciate that. Bill. You know what? I'm gonna call security, I'm sorry. 
James, was it? James? Yeah. I was getting no respect. No, we don't do that kind of thing here, I'm sorry. What, sell pants and make money? Yeah, but there's a whole process for that. You'd have to phone the buyer, make well, They sweeten the deal if you see them. It's a new pant for men. Basically, they have penis built in to make it look larger. You want to have an appointment, we would really appreciate if you guys leave. But since the fashion executives there hated money, I brought the pants for their biggest competitor. And this time, I got a little craftier. Uh, we're just looking for uh, the, the head honchos. Oh, you're looking for Yeah. You just stepped away for two seconds. You guys want a coffee or water or anything? Uh, sure, yeah. What's your company name? Uh, Python Pants. Python Pants? Thank you. Okay, as soon as you say Python Pants, I'll know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, he we... doesn't have anything in his schedule for you. We were talking to him earlier. It's... And it's from... Uh, Python Pants. Okay, Thank you. But before his secretary could run it by him, I decided to make a break for it. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Okay, uh, uh, did we have an appointment though? It's uh, a new pant that basically enhances the male genitalia. So it's something that's appropriate for us. It doesn't hang out, it's like inside. We recommend them from anyone with a less than 10 inch. Okay, you know what? I will yeah. um, close your thing there. Well, just something's caught in it or something. Why don't I just leave my number down just in case you think about it? I'm gonna, I'll tell you what, I'll leave the number. This is not appropriate. She'll take the number, I'll you think about number. it, give me a call. And he was too self-absorbed to see a great product even when it was slapping him in the face. All right, thanks guys. Appreciate it. I just think, who wants to walk around with like a Ron Jeremy-esque imprint on like the front of your... Ron Jeremy pack? probably likes walking around with the Ron Jeremy-esque imprint. Do you have different sizes of them, how, how big it's gonna we be? We had five different models. Oh, so you have bigger, to, biggest to smallest kind of thing? Well, no, only XL. I sort of agree with the guy who said it was it was a novelty piece. The guy who invented the propeller hat, you know, everyone's like, oh, stupid idea, he's bathing in money right now, so. They should maybe have one where it's even bigger so I can notice it. I don't like uh, the way it was uh, uh, presented. Uh, Scratch yeah. that idea, but just make it a little bit bigger. Tired of wasting thousands of dollars every single morning stuffing your crotch the old fashioned way? It's time to put a python in your pants. Actually, we're not hiring right now. Oh my, you're hired! And if python pants fail to get you laid, I'll personally come to your house and jerk you off myself. So don't be a small fry. Come on down to 559 Queen Street and hit puberty again. Python pants are not responsible for all the women that you're gonna get pregnant. While you were enjoying that commercial, I figured out a way to get Python pants sold at Tris Lingerie using a technique called consignment. People will bring things in and we'll try to sell them. But what Sarah hadn't told me was that the store was a ghost town. So people definitely do know that we're here. Oh yes. It's not hidden or anything like that. So to boost sales, I brought some coupons to places frequented by men with small wieners. Any like sort of meathead type news, um, if you could just hand out some of these coupons. I just want to put like a couple coupons near the guns. If people buy guns, hand those out. And I left the rest at the Porsche dealership. And once word got out to the small wiener community, men were pouring in with hopes of tricking girls into sleeping with them. Non-stop tail. Okay, that looks amazing. Woo! Nice. This guy's packed in heat. You wanna just seal the deal or how do you wanna do it? I think I'm okay today, but I'm not wearing this. That looks amazing. Uh, I have a uniform. Yeah, I could always have a little heat. We're going for 79, but we could go a little bit less. 59? 59, maybe, I don't know. 49. 49. 49? I mean, think I'm gonna wear this on the street. You don't want people to think you shop at a flea market? Those look great. Oh, they're gonna change your life, man. You wanna check out the pants? No, I wanna not be in the video. 39, let's just say 39. I'll come back. 29. You need 29? Okay, sorry, yeah, you're changing, okay, okay. Do you guys like wear Crocs and stuff and you think they wouldn't go good with your Crocs? Oh, well, you here for the pythons? No, I just work here. No, I work here. Oh, okay. <laughs> A lot of employees at this store. Do you have like a specific holding area? Yeah, we do actually. Okay. Did you get his name? Uh, you know I didn't. It's honestly like really discreet. No one's gonna know you have them. Our camera guys aren't gonna tell anyone. Yeah. No? No. That guy's not gonna come back. Probably not. Broke ass. And after all that, I was down to one customer that could make the trend a success. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, cool. 
and I had my first sale. Are you actually buying them or like? I thought you don't want to buy them? No. Oh, that's just for a TV. You were just sort of kidding? Yeah. Right, I'm kidding. What would be the most you want to pay? <laughs> just work with me here. Um, at this point in time, I can't really like actually afford much. So I probably can't go for it. Um, maybe ask, call a friend and ask them to lend you money? Be honest, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be able to, man. When are you working next? Uh, pretty much all week. So when do you get your next paycheck? Uh, probably Monday. Maybe you just give me your home address and I'll pop them off like Tuesday after we get the paycheck. Yep, cool. So you want me to do that? Pop them off maybe Tuesday after you get the paycheck? Uh, no thanks man. He wanted the heat, but he didn't want to pay for it. I felt like a small dick loser. Inadequate. I wish they had a pair of python pants for my life. I still think you should reconsider the Velcro brim hat. You know, it's like business in the front, party in, in the, the front. front. <laughs> You've just won a free pair of python pants. I just think we need to expand the line, like python turtlenecks, python shoes, python gloves. These guys don't want to pay 80 bucks for unlimited poonting. You can't help people that don't want to help themselves. We don't even really know if they work. You know what, Jarek? You got short guy syndrome, you got small D syndrome, you've been negative all season, you're a terrible host, and apparently Max says he saw you stealing urinal bucks from the washroom. That was Max! We don't like you, Jer. And if Ryan says the turtlenecks are gonna sell, then start the presses, all right? So these python shoes are just big shoes, right? Because everybody knows when you got big shoes, you got a big python. <laughs> and I decided to test whether wearing the python pants really would cause a pussy tsunami. Well, just as predicted, when I strapped on the pythons, birds were lining up for a chance to get their paws on the hammer. Five, two, zero, yep. six, nine. But I also noticed that when I used the pants on men, it totally repulsed them, which gave me a chronic idea. If python pants could be used to ward off perverts, then they could be boxed and sold as a safety device for women walking home at night. So to test out my theory, I brought my 18-year-old cousin Emily to the shadiest part of Toronto I could find. Basically, this is the sketchiest area that I could find in Toronto. My mom's gonna kill you when she finds out. Then I suited her up with a pair of python pants, a python turtleneck, and python shoes. Just a man's shoe? And some cash to attract muggers. Test. I agreed to stay a rope's length away because Emily didn't quite trust the python product. Say that back to me. I'll tug once if I'm being mugged, mugged, and twice for harassment. But I knew if I was gonna draw out the real creeps, she had to be totally alone. Okay, so we've officially lost her. So I'm like actually by myself now. Uh, luckily, she has the python pants, so she will be good. Without you guys filming, I don't really look like I'm part of a show. If anything happens, we have like a monitor here, so we can basically see anything that's going on. You have a monitor? Yeah. Do you actually have a monitor? Are you stupid? Yeah, flash the money around for the people that might harass you. I have money. <laughs> this is really sketchy, actually. <laughs> You're not close. Is this like good enough? Like, can... oh, she just stopped my mouth. It's breaking up, but it's just pretty far. What? No way, Steve. You run through. Suck my neck. I was starting to think this may have been a bad idea. Em! If something happened to my cousin Emily, that would mean the pants don't work. Em! And I could fail the challenge. Yo! Whew, the suspense. I don't know where you went. You weren't answering the walkie-talkie, so I'm, I'm just in a cab. I'm, I'm gonna go home. And... She was safe. And now that I knew that the python pants had prevented her from being molested, I needed to get them in the hands of someone who makes a living from keeping people safe. I worked uh, with Hell Angels, African Mafia. A security guard. And I promised to give Ancock the entire python line if he promised to use it out on the field. And just get women home safe and that's all that I ask is that they're safe. Oh, it definitely sounds good. Like I can do that for sure. I think it's a good idea because uh, you definitely see the ball. You definitely see that, hey, it can be a man. 
and I like that as well, yeah. Let me have a moment with them for a second, just to sort of say goodbye. Do you know how to work the briefcase? Oh, definitely. And as Ancock left with the pants, I couldn't be happier. Because I knew that I had created a successful fashion trend. Successful at keeping women safe. The best kind of success. And I learned something today. That no matter how average a man is, he will somehow convince himself he's better. There's something wrong with that? Or not? And how can you help someone enhance themselves? Maybe there's something caught in it? If they don't Maybe. think they need enhancing. I just don't want it to open. <laughs> Were the python pants successful enough to impress the panel? This week's expert panel consisted of a life coach, and for the other two, just read the name tags. All right, we can bring in the contestant. Who would decide whether or not I won that sweet spot gift certificate. Over the break, you have each watched a one minute video of Ryan's performance. Karen, could you please give us your thoughts first? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confused a little bit. I mean, the saving lives thing, I think, is questionable. Think well, it worked. We tested it. And that girl was related to you. I mean, your cousin. I don't even think women would even buy that for that purpose at all. They won't. I think but that's man may. I mean, uh, invention of the stonewashed jeans and fatted jeans. Sweet. And, yeah, those are both oh, sick so products. So they, they were able to win the market. So you liked the pants when it had, like, the hog and the thing, but you didn't like it when it was helping women's uh, lives. I wouldn't say that I necessarily like it, but from the marketing perspective, your idea. The design of the pant wasn't evident. Like, they should maybe have one where it's even bigger so I can notice it. So maybe, maybe my eyesight's not really as good. So you're saying really the close, penis right? wasn't big enough exactly. for you specifically. I would have gone bigger too. So like the 10 inch one wasn't like enough for you. I mean, he's right about the far away. Like, you don't want to be going. Getting, exactly, what you don't you want to be doing going that. On I'm there. just getting a little confused. So the consensus in the panel is that two to three people think that the penis wasn't large enough? Bullseye, what did you think of the size of the penis in the pants? I mean, I, I, I totally agree with them. It that it should have been, been larger. It should have been larger. Because if you are making that, a, I mean, attraction, then it has to be most attractive thing. Exactly. Right? Even in that, in that switch, I don't see the success. I give, you, I give you points for ambition, but as far as the pants design and everything goes, it's, they're terrible. Ryan, any final thoughts? I made a pair of pants that could save lives. If that's not successful, I guess we'll have to agree to disagree and I'll see you at the spa. On the count of three, you will now put up a pass or a fail, determining Ryan's fate. One. Two. It was a terrible idea from the beginning to end. The idea was fail or pass. I would consider that, I mean, uh, it was total waste. I mean, between uh, developing the idea, premature idea, and then making premature decision, going to a different market, jumping into it. It's all over. It's all over. All execution was terrible. Like, it, he he basically just jumped from all over the place. There's no right, sort of direction. There's no sort of anything. And then just the idea in general is just Lake of consistency. Idea. If you look at a female, wearing that pant coming straight on the street. Would you straight away look into that pant? Or would you look at the uh, complete appearance? Whether <laughs> I would totally see the pants. I would probably look at the If, it was, if he does what we're talking look, about. Yeah, I would straight look at the complete down, appearance. I won't if, just if into... He, uh... Also, it's like evolutionary speaking, you know, it's shaped like a shovel. So it's supposed to be able to go in there. What is shaped like a shovel? Your junk. Well, your mine's junk. not. Well, 
take a look at it again. But like it shovel, like goes, it goes, there's like the handle and then yeah, it like, goes two different ways, like a It doesn't have to go set. two different ways. It's just, you know, like the handle really and then like the, shovel. The, sorry, the handle and then the shovel part so it can pull out right Mine doesn't firm. have a shovel part. Wait, Jared, you've got a small one. What's like the ideal improvement? <laughs> Whoa. According to Stats Canada, the global average is five inches on the dot. So I'd hardly call four nine small. What are you doing? Well, I was at the YMCA for the last eight hours doing dom research. I want it to be like firm, but I don't want it to be like too big that like a guy couldn't like post up at a club, for example. Okay. I'm thinking that like we'll probably want to produce maybe like 20,000-ish. Put them in every store in the country sort of thing. Okay. Okay. You know, get them in the gap, get them in Roots. Just, you know, get them out there. Just yeah. get the product out there. Let people see it. Let it start to pick up on itself. Travel by word of mouth. I'll get back to you. You may now go back to your co- <laughs> Now I've seen everything! A vacuum cleaner on a live set! Real professional!